Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP Gaming Computer. So this HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop, the model is TG01-1022. In this video here, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step on how to add additional hard drive as a secondary data drive or like a backup drive here. So let me show it to you how this desktop looks like. So this is the front of the computer. And the front of the computer at the very bottom is the um, the sticker for the Intel i3. This is the logo. And if you slide down a little bit more, you can see the USB-C, the USB ports, and the headphone jack and the power button. I got to apologize in advance about the angle on my camera. This is the best I can film the entire computer. So I may have to move the computer, um, you know, in the center of the camera to show you uh, what I'm doing step by steps. All right, I'm not able to film the entire desktop uh, with this camera here. So I apologize that in advance, but let's get started. So the first thing what you wanna do is you need to have the uh, Torx screwdriver and this Torx screwdriver can actually uh, open up the side panel. So go ahead and unscrew that one screw here. It doesn't come out, you just stay like this and then you can slide the side panel um, towards the screw direction to remove it. All right, once the side panel is removed, let me turn it around here to show you the, the, the desktop, how it looks like. So this is the full desktop and this is how it looks like, okay? So let first thing what you wanna do is you want to remove this, uh, this panel right here. So, okay, so this panel here is held by one screw so go ahead and remove that one screw as well. So one of the screw is removed, right? So the next thing what you want to do is you want to lift up the panel here. So when this panel is lift up and you can just slide it out and put it on the side. The next thing you need to do is to remove the uh, front panel here. So this is your front panel. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on a sideways here so I can show you the entire way of doing so. What you want to do, there's three clippers, right? So you need to lift it up a little bit, second and third. Once you lift the clipper up, you can slide the front panel and it would come out just like that. Now be careful, do not pull the cable because the cable is to attach to the motherboard. You need to remove the connector first. So go ahead and pull the connector up so lift it up so lift the connect lift lift the connector up that's how you remove the connector so lift it up from the keyboard uh, from the motherboard and the, and put the side panel sorry put the front panel on the side here all right so here let me turn it around here you can see this is the slot this is additional slot and for you to install maybe uh, a m.2 as a secondary drive okay you can do that here or you can install a larger hard drive which is the regular hard drive like you know six terabyte or eight terabyte so it would go right here okay but before you can do that you can you need to actually remove the 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 mounting bracket this one this one the hard drive bracket here okay to do that we already removed the front panel so one of the screw here is hidden. Go ahead and remove that screw. So this screw here is actually a tor torque screw. Go ahead and remove that. Once you remove that, you can remove the mounting bracket. So go ahead and lift the hard drive bracket and then so you can slide it out just like that. All right. So now before, you, before I install the hard drive here to show you how to do that, uh, I wanted to explain to you that uh, it comes with this cable here. So this cable is for your hard drive, the SATA cable. And also it has one of the, uh, uh, sorry, this is the, the power cable for you and this is the SATA cable. It already comes with the computer and you can actually see that there are two more slots right here, right? So there's one and the secondary. You can add additional, uh, one more of this SATA cable for your third hard drive all right does that make sense so this is your first hard drive which is the m.2 nvme this is your c drive the windows drive right if you install this one here there would be a second drive 
all right when you install this uh, let me see let me see so when you install this one here it would be a secondary drive and then if you, if you want you can install the third one which is this one here onto whichever drive you want to install and you will definitely need to have additional SATA cable so one of the SATA cable can go into this white cape white slot or the blue slot here okay let me see if I can find you the SATA cable alright so this is the uh, additional SATA cable that you need to buy it doesn't come with the computer so once you have this one go ahead and install it and then you can install it into this one the third hard drive which I was talking about alright so let me do a proper way I just wanted to skip and fast forward to show it to you uh, you can add second and the third hard drive in this desktop here alright so let me get back to the main where I just removed the, uh, the bracket now once you remove the bracket you, you want to go ahead and install the hard drive now to install the hard drive this is how you're going to do it you install the hard drive it's kind of upside down all right it's not the other way around it's upside down um, you want to put four screws here two on both sides and hp does not come with the screw so anyway you look into the desktop you couldn't find extra screws for this so you would actually need to purchase the screws separately all right what I'll do is I will have the link uh, where you can buy the screws from in the description below so go check out the description below uh, I, will, I will list it out on Amazon or eBay where you can buy the additional screw to screw onto your hard drive alright so put two screws on each side and screw it on so four screws total that you need for this hard drive here okay so once you have the four screws installed uh, it's pretty straightforward you're ready to put it back together alright so what you want to do is you want to slide this little three hinge into the desktop on the side once you have it in the right place and then you just close it down once the hard drive is closed down so do not forget to connect your cable and this is your power cable here so go ahead and connect to this one and then this is your SATA cable that reads the drive go ahead and connect it to the this port right here alright so once you have that thing connected you want to put a screw to close up the front alright so once you close up the front remember the front panel here so always make sure you connect the cable back on so right this cable goes back on here now you're gonna ask me which side way it goes to so let me point it out so that you you do not mix up the uh, the cable how you're gonna put it back okay so if you look carefully this is the sorry if you look carefully you can see that this is the uh, you can see the exposure of the metal and if you turn it around you can see there's no exposure of the metal but you can see these two little plastic all right these two little um, lines the plastic line it will be facing the SD card okay and then the metal part here you can see the little silver they will be facing the USB port okay so two plastic facing the SD card and then the metal part will be facing the USB port once I have it in the right position and press it down it would go directly into the motherboard now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the front panel aligned at the bottom first so go ahead and make sure you align at the bottom and then close it to the top okay that's how you do it close it to the top once you close it to the top you can feel like the three clipper would go right back onto the the base on the desktop all right so that's how you add additional hard drive uh, into this computer here and um, I hope that this video explained to you well enough and um, yeah so if you need more capacity more storage 
uh, this is how you add additional drive you can actually add the regular SSD drive if you do not like this regular hard drive you can add the SSD drive now the SSD drive is the same concept but you just have to mount right in the middle here so imagine this hard drive is not in place the SSD drive goes in there and then you'll be having a, a different screw a tiny thread screw uh, will be closing down at the bottom of the SSD so this bracket right here allows you to install SSD as well all right so um, at this point here I think uh, this is how you do the additional add-on hard drive onto this computer uh, if you have any question oh yeah so let me point it out since I'm talking about this already so let me point it out to you this graphics card here it runs on a six pin connector and if you want to upgrade the graphics card to a higher graphics card maybe like 2080 or 2060 or whatsoever that runs on an eight pin power all right so this power supply allows you to add additional two more pin power total of eight pin power to to power up the graphics card so if you have a better graphics card you want to get rid of this one if it burns out whatsoever you have additional pin here to add it up to eight pin power all right so this is all i need to point it out to you and uh, if you have any question comment below i'm more than happy to answer this question if you like the video if it helps you on this video please smash the like button i really appreciate for you doing that it really helps me to grow my channel and i'd like to make more of this video for you in the near future so take care until next time i'll see you soon bye